Computer History Uncovered, The Story of the First Error Step back in time to September 9, 1947, when the computer log took an unexpected turn. At Harvard University, a computer programmer working on the Mark II made a remarkable discovery, the first real example of a bug being found. At exactly 3.45 p.m., a butterfly fluttered in the room where the 25-ton Mark II, one of the world's first computers, lay. Lured by the machine's warmth, the winged visitor found himself caught in the electromagnetic relays communications network. This unintentional encounter between nature and technology has become a landmark in the history of computing. Interestingly enough, inventor Thomas Edison had earlier referred to bugs in his notebooks during the mid-1870s. Use the term to describe small errors and difficulties. Newspapers at the time even reported on Edison's efforts to fix a fault in his phonograph. However, the use of the term fault to refer to a defect or problem did not arise from this incident but was already prevalent in engineering circles for more than 50 years. Enter Grace Hopper, the mathematician and computer science pioneer who played a vital role in debugging the Mark II. While the butterfly's adventure was not the birth of the term bug, Hopper did embrace its significance. Her work with the Mark II and other early computers paved the way for modern programming languages. In fact, Terms like patch find their roots in the physical act of repairing punched cards with debugging tape in older machines. Today, the original Mark II entry, describing the mistake caused by the butterfly, is preserved in the Smithsonian Museum of American History. This tool serves as a reminder of the ingenuity and resilience of the early computing pioneers. As we ponder the story of the first bug, let us appreciate the twists and turns of history that shape our technology landscape. From real-life insects to the wise minds of Grace Hopper and Thomas Edison, their contributions continue to inspire and drive innovation in the digital age.